So this is it, my uh, my beginnings of a solo adventure. Oh, the memories. Starting this game back in 2016 after my brother told me about it. I started just um, just before the uh, the release of the Scorched um, trailer, the uh, announcement trailer. And I think that's a pego, which I'd really like to avoid if I can at all help it. Not that I have anything of value, but it's just going to keep attacking me and I don't want to die straight away because that's not a good start to any series. So my PC has been having a lot of issues as of late um, and I want to try and get this series done as quickly as possible just in case it claps out again. So I finally, after days upon days of tinkering around, I finally got it to work. And a Dillo too? Oh, maybe South Zone 1 wasn't the best place to be spawning in. but. In regards to what we're doing, so um, the uh, rates and whatnot are um, one times XP, uh, two times gathering, and four times taming. It was originally three times, but I figured there's no point. Like I'm, I'm going to get the tame anyway. There's no point waiting around for it. But I don't like the idea of, I guess, in a sense, getting it for free. Like I still want to be able to do something to somewhat earn it. You know, it feels a bit more. I guess honest that way. Uh, what else is there? There's 10 times the gestation slash uh, egg hatching speeds. There's um, a 20th or 5% um, of the total time for breeding intervals. So instead of waiting like, I don't know, 12 hours, you only have to wait like an hour sort of thing between breeding. So not to try and make it OP, but not to try and make it completely useless at the same time. And it's also, um, we also have the superstructures mod here as well, um, which is basically just S+, plus, but I find it'd be a bit more user-friendly. Um, I prefer, oh, where's that coming from? No, oh, and there it is. And I've weighed myself down with all this stuff. All right, time to go. Hopefully you'll uh, start attacking the parasol. Uh, so yeah, brand new series, and I'm hoping to um, hoping to basically just defeat the island. If this isn't going to be like some sort of concurrent thing where it, we're going to be focusing on. Um, wait, are you still coming for me? You went straight by a parasaur. Oh man. Um, yeah, it's not going to be like a concurrent series where people like they might start on the island and then complete it and then go on to scorched and then complete scorched, etc. I mean, may maybe, maybe. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say never. But I've I've just um, been accepted for a new role, and the role unfortunately means that I may have to be um, out of uh, so not necessarily out of state. Like I'll be in the same state because we've got so many travel restrictions here in Australia. But um, it does mean that I will be away from my PC quite a bit. So the sooner I can sort of get into this and get editing, the better. Um, not that I want to make the quality bad or anything like that, but, um, but yeah, that's just sort of the way it is. That's a, that's a little bit loud. So basically everything else though is, um, is vanilla. Like I haven't played around with, with levels of the creatures. I haven't played around with how much, um, how much a level might go up per, uh, point and that sort of thing. So I try to keep it somewhat vanilla, just a little bit more fast paced. Um, the gathering is still for the sake of, I guess... Uh, keeping with a more honest and meaningful sort of interaction, a bit more immersive, instead of just picking at a plant and getting, you know, um, a thousand berries off of it sort of thing. There's no stack mods, however, I do have um, two times uh, stacking just from the base game, so any items that actually do stack, they, uh, they stack uh, double the amount, so that might be seen here. Uh, yeah, so here, berries, for example, stacking up to 200, which I'm going to take some of those. Let's get some movement speed. I find that to be more important than anything else. I do have auto engrams um, unlocked. That's not a mod. That's actually just a setting that you can put inside the server. I figured that would be um, that would be sort of handy. It means I don't have to keep worrying about what I'm going to necessarily think about unlocking. It just gives me everything that, um, that Ark has. Um, there are a few little extra bits and pieces from the Superstructures mod, but... Nothing super crazy, just a little bit of autonomous stuff that I guess would necessarily be done with tribe mates. Uh, just as an example, um, the, I don't know, the gardener um, will automatically pull crops out 
and sort of store it within her own inventory and that um that basically just sort of you know helps me out with um not needing to worry about the crops constantly because i do want to build a greenhouse i do love building greenhouse i don't know what it is about building a greenhouse hey it's something about cultivating life people like doing it in the form of tames which is fair enough like i can understand if you want a pretty colored dinosaur or for those of you who want really powerful dinosaurs like i could i can completely relate to that but i prefer um I guess I just prefer to um, cultivate something that, that isn't going to move. Like you, you sort of deal with it for a little bit and then that's it. You know, you, you put in your, your fertilizer or feces, whatever it is you're using for the nitrogen. And and that's the end of it, you know. Uh, so what do we got here? What do we need? We need uh, a pick that will... I, I got two picks. That's um, That's handy. So yeah, we'll start off with a pick and um, put that in my regular spot. A lot of people put that in, in one, two, and three. Uh, yeah, one, two, and three, or whatever. Like at the beginning of their hop order. I don't understand that myself. All right, so we'll just over some of this. We'll uh, get all the regular stuff that we need. Sort of weigh myself down just a smidge. I should probably um, probably make a hatchet and we'll get some. Uh, cloth armor going. Cloth armor is absolutely so useless, but it's better than nothing. Um, I think we should get rid of the Azul Berry. We'll get rid of the Amar Berry. I'll keep the other stuff though, because that's pretty handy. We'll put that on, put that on. A little bit of armor might help against Dillos, but it won't really help against anything else. Definitely going to need more weight. I can make narcotics, mortar and pestle. Okay, fantastic. But where are we going to first set up? Now that is where I'm... See, that people probably don't realize just how important it is um, to pick a proper spot to build your first base. Now obviously a lot of people will choose the beach because it's right there, it's it's easy to get to, etc. I think actually I might sort of follow suit with that around this area because this area is a lagoon-ish sort of area. And if I look on the map, I should have everything unlocked because it's the island. Like, who doesn't have everything unlocked? Um, so where I am at the moment on the uh, in the center... If you go in that direction where the arrow is pointing, just two more islands over, you get beaver dams. If you go back that direction, uh, there it is. You got the red obelisk, so you're nice and close to that. You have the redwoods just above you, so you can get a good source of metal. And there's also another mountain to the east, uh, somewhere over around there as well, where you can get good metal. And if you don't yet have um, the opportunity to like get an Argentavis and that sort of thing for metal, you can still um, get metal out of these river rocks. So this is still a pretty good spot to start off with. Let's see how many um, piran <laughs> piranha there are. Okay, right. So I'm going to have to find a nicer spot to sort of get over. So we'll make our way up here. I'm just hoping I don't run into raptors. Like, honestly, raptors are the scariest thing when you're first starting out. They, um, they just don't care. And they're so quick. Like, that's, it's anything that's fast. Anything fast is going to be the bane of your existence. Uh, oh, it's a fear mia. Oh, okay, no, for a second there I thought it was um, going to be something a little bit more menacing. But that's okay. That is perfectly fine. So what I'm going to see if I can... Oh, right. Um, I should be able to, if I jump and I land in the shallows, maybe this could really backfire or it could work out perfectly. Because I don't want to get too close to the swamp. Because, you know, titanoboas and capros and stuff. But... I don't want to land too deep or else the piranha are going to maul me to death. And we've got beaver dams here, which is surprising. I didn't think there was going to be a beaver dam here. Um, I can see a titanoboa down there, which is not going to be fun. So, uh... uh let's see if this works. Tyrannobo! Okay, it worked. I'm good. And do we have any piranha coming? Nope, we're good. Sweet as. Alright, so I'm going to build my base around here. Now the reason why I had to come up and around is because of the dangers and stuff that's sort of laid around there. So I think I might build my base just up here on this ridge. Hopefully there's nothing sort of around me while I <laughs> just try and clear out this area. So if I build it up here, then I'm away from everything else, but I'm not too far away from water and I can still bring my water tames up. Like that's the main... Oh, it's a parasol. I thought it was a raptor. Uh, I felt I felt uh, an apple in my throat for a second. I felt the butthole puckering a bit. So, oh, it's getting a little bit dark. I'll gamma up. So, 
Oh, now it's proper bright. So if I build around here... Eat! No! No! Oh, okay, he didn't care that I was like right next to it. That's cool. That's cool, cool, cool. So if I build my base around here, then hopefully, um... Oh, actually... Around here? Yeah, a bit flatter. Might be a bit nicer. That's still a bit, that's still a bit bright. Yeah, actually, I can, I, can, I can see it working here because I want to be close to the ocean because I want to do some water exploration as well. I hate the idea of being so far away. So, if I, um... And I don't think Rexes and stuff spawn here. Like, you'll get Raptors. Raptors, definitely. Maybe the odd Kano as well. Uh, I, think, I think I've seen Spinos around this area too, but yeah, primarily, um... Primarily just Rexes that I, I worry about. Spinos don't really go too far away from um, from their sort of um, aquatic habitat. And I've got metal just up that hill. So, oh, what is that? Oh, it's a trike. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm jumpy. Um, yeah, you're pretty vulnerable when you're first starting off. I was going to make this a hardcore series, but I thought, no, nah, that's absolutely ridiculous. I'm, I'm going to die. Um, I tried doing uh, official PvP, but everyone just strolls around on... Level 450 manners, like you've, you've got no hope just starting out unless you join a tribe. Uh, this might work. I just need a place that's relatively flat. Yeah, I think this will work. Alright, so I might as well start harvesting up these trees now. Um, and then of course on top of that, actually that's a little loud. That is a little loud. Uh, where's sound effects? Is it sound effects that dims that down? That's a little bit nicer. Okay. Oh, I was just in the water. How am I dehydrated? Oh, I'm, I'm hot. Okay. Yeah, overheating, that's that's going to be an issue. I'll have to make sure I've got um, reserves for that. Oh, hello there, Moss Chops. What do you want? Oh, of course, that's what you need, eh? So, Moss Chops, um, uh, they are an insanely good first tame, but sometimes they just ask for stupid stuff like rare flowers or cooked prime fish. Uh, it's okay, they used to ask for kibble, I'm fairly certain, so I think it used to be kibble. So at least that's not so bad. They never used to be rideable either, but now they're rideable, so that's a, a bit of a bonus. See, so yeah, I think I'll, I'll build my my little hut around here. This area looks relatively flat. And uh, as I was saying, yeah, I tried official PvP, but when people just stroll around on on manners, like you, you've got no hope of, of defending against that. Uh, foundation. Do I go for SS? Oh, I might as well just go for the SS. May as well. And then I tried unofficial PvP, like uh, something that was actually populated so it would be somewhat challenging. And I was on um, MTS and that didn't work because being in Australia, it's, my ping was uh, was not good. It was quite bad actually. Uh, this is going to be a slow process. There we go. Um, so yeah, I ha was lagging too much to play on MTS, which was really bad. Um, met some good people though, which was nice, but, um, but apart from that, no, it was a bit of a failure. So, I've got no choice, really. Um, and there's nothing in the oceanic side of things to, um, to really play on. Um, you got, like, you don't even have small tribes. Small tribes are only for Europe, and... So, um, yeah, my hands are sort of tied. It's, um, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I can't really change that. So let us increase the weight a bit. Uh, what do I need for a mortar and pestle? Uh, I need hide. And that would mean that I need to try and get a couple of spears. I've got plenty of, um, dodos around me. I could probably kill a couple of these dodos. So I'll, I'll do that. Um, wherever I saw that dodo go. It's around here somewhere. So yeah, basically, uh, this is going to be the, the series for now. Um, I was actually going to do something similar to this with a, uh, with a fellow content creator, but um, I don't want to run the risk of having to like have him wait for me or me wait for him, especially when I've got such limited time now. There we go. Oh man, I like, I like killed it into oblivion. Where'd you go? Oh, I was inside the tree. Alright, well I got I got a little bit anyways. I shouldn't have used a um I shouldn't have used a spear to um harvest it, but it's fine. It is what it is. I accidentally did it again. Okay, so this this might become a little bit of a
problem eventually, so I'm just going to, uh... I'm gonna run over here as quickly as I can, grab some water, because OCD is getting the better of me. And then I'm going to need to drop some stuff. So as you can see, like, I got fiber stacking to 600. And that sort of thing, so it's, um... Yeah, just the double stack feature, but it doesn't double stack things that shouldn't be stacked, like... Prime meat doesn't stack, honey doesn't stack. It's actually going to be quite the challenge without those sort of stacking features that I'm, I'm just sort of so used to. But, yeah, that, that's sort of part of the fun, I guess. Why did a hatchet get almost twice as much raw meat as what it did hide? Ugh, doesn't matter. I'll never understand that, but it doesn't matter. So, I don't know if this will be our permanent... In fact, it's going to be even more difficult if I can't find it all the time. Probably another reason why I need to clear out more of these trees and stuff. Okay, here it is. Because, yeah, the last thing I want is to, uh, have issues with things like raptors and whatnot. Which could be quite, <laughs> quite, uh, easy to happen around here. So I'll get a standing torch. Uh, maybe two of them, actually. And I'll get a thatch wall. And I'll stick these out the back. It's nice to be able to see things before they actually get close. So I like sticking them out the back of my, my bases. I wouldn't do this on PvP because that's suicide, but... Um, when I'm here by myself, it's fine. I don't think I got that spear back. There we go. Hey, that's better. Alright, so now, with that there... I don't know if I should get rid of these rocks. I don't know if they're providing cover or if they're going to be a hindrance. Or part of the... Uh, or part of the experience, I guess. I'll get rid of some of these rocks, especially the ones closer to the, um, closer to the water. I think it'll make it a bit nicer for me to sort of operate. It's good being able to see everything around you, unless you're deliberately planning to not really have a lot of tames. I don't care about having tames, because I'm the only person on this server, so. <laughs> so that's okay, that's, that's all good. And then we'll, uh, stick down these thatch walls. There we go. And I need a crafting station, but I don't think... Nah, I need metal ingots for that. That's not going to happen. Um, I'll, st I'll stick the mortar and pestles down here for now. They'll, uh, they'll be fine there. Beautiful. Um, I obviously don't have collision on this. Um, a part of me was thinking I should have collision, but nah, not, not going to worry about that. Uh, so I don't have a lot of time left for this spoiled meat. Oh, sorry, for this meat to spoil. So I'll, s I'll split it then. And there runs a dillo. Okay, well I'm going to kill it before it kills me. Okay, that was actually not too bad. Let's try this again. So now I just need to... Um, down a few more bits and pieces around here. As you can see, it's quite, um, it's quite cluttered. Like, in PvP, this wouldn't be too bad. I wouldn't build a 2x2. Two to start off with, I'd go something smaller, but to start with, this isn't too bad. So, what I want to do as well, um, I might, uh, cloth gloves and cloth boots, that might be handy, and I think I'll be needing more, um, oh, I forgot, I get heavier as I make these because of, um, because of how light the resources are. There we go. Okay, I can just walk now. Uh, put that down there. Thatch door. Down there. Another wall. Oh, I'm missing a wall. Oops. Uh, we can easily fix that. And then we'll chuck this bad boy up onto there. And that one up onto there. And I have to go on the first person now. That one onto there. Nice. So I can now make a bow, which will be much better than the spears. Can I make... Oh, I can make a couple of bowlers. One bowler. Alright, bow and how many arrows? 61 arrows. I'm there. So let us put that down there. And as we make this bow, I've got to keep an eye... Oh, I can probably put these down into here, actually. I'll put that into there. And put that into there. Another reason why I quite enjoy... Um, oh, I'll stick that in there. The reason why I quite enjoy um, SS is because of the extra slots as opposed to vanilla. It uh, makes resources a bit more manageable. I'm going to need um, a much bigger base at some point. Now whether that's here or whether that's somewhere else, I'm not certain. 
And as for the bosses, I don't even know what creature I want to use yet. Um, I'm tossing up between Rexes and Therries uh, for the bosses themselves, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to see. And I can make a Parasol Saddle. I can make I'll make a couple of these because these beds snap together, whereas these ones snap inside each other. Well, not snap inside each other, but like they can mesh inside each other, which makes it much easier. So I, I prefer that. So I'll might as well put it here. Because these don't obstruct um, line of sight or anything like that. And it's got more weight to put into there. Oh, I can now make wood. That's kind of... That's actually kind of handy. So I've got plenty of um, trees around me. So I'll go with this. So what do I need there? Uh, might as well start with this one here. So with all the wood that I'm able to create and these foundations, I'll just start replacing everything piece by piece. There we go. These extra pieces as soon as you can is um, the XP that you um, obtain from crafting them. It uh, definitely makes it worth it. Don't forget I am on one times rates with the uh, XP. Now some of you may be wondering why I haven't just bothered to do a note run, considering I'm on the island. And honestly, I don't want to do a note run. It, I reckon it, it just completely wrecks the progression of the game. It, um, it makes it boring, and that's not what this series is about. Um, this series is about trying to, you know, pr like create a challenge. Like, I don't want to just instantly get to level 70, which I could easily do with a note run. Yeah, I don't want to instantly just get to level 70 with a note run and, um, and be able to make, you know, full-on metal and be able to make um, higher-end weaponry and that sort of thing. Like, I'll actually have that, that meaningful challenge. It'll be nice to um, be nice to sort of get back into the old style of play. You know, a lot of people watching this may not actually have played Ark back in the back in its early days, and a lot of it was a lot harder than what you see now. Uh, actually, I'm going to put a window there just so I can see out. I'm going to wall there. Should I put one there or should I have another window? That's going out the back of the base. Uh, nah, I'll, I'll put that down there. That's going to be the door. I'll have a window there. So... I'll put the door here. And... Wall there. That should be fine. Okay, so window, window, window. Now I just need four ceilings. This is actually progressing a little bit quicker than what I thought it was going to. Which is good. That's um, It's a good thing. Starting off in the forested areas um, really allows you to sort of kick into gear. Whoop, not that tree. Don't want to get rid of that tree. I like that tree. There's something way off in the distance, like over there. Just where my cross area is. If you guys can see that. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure if I want to know what that is. Alright, let's uh, continue along with this. Just while we can. Because you never know. No, something might just come out of the woodwork and decide to, uh, to wreck us. So... Let's get ourselves more movement speed, and now I can make windows as well. Awesome. So let us get the window walls going. And I'll need three of those. So, still needing some more wood. Nice. So let us pop these in. Oh, I need a, um, that's not my door. This is my door. Probably should, uh, memorize that. So, whoop, not that. Um, so door, that will be in here somewhere too. Nice. Let's pop that in there. Put that one in there. That one, that one, and... Wait, what? Wasn't there? Ah, uh, right. Yeah, screw it. You know what, I'll get some resources back, put it in there. Yeah, so this is basically why I do it, just so you can see out um, from time to time. Quite important for, uh... Oh... No... Oh, did you guys see the raptor? I need a window. Or else it's gonna look straight in at me. <gasps> no, why'd I make that? No! No, I didn't want that. Oh, and raptors can damage wood too. This isn't gonna be good for me. 
get that one going, let's get that one going, and that one. Oh! That's why it's so important that- here's another little trick that you might not know. Uh, first off, always switch your uh, doors to auto- like your SS doors to either auto-close or manual. So, if I click on this, lay in bed. Okay, so we have a raptor there. How did you see me? What level are you? Level 30. Oh, you may not be too bad. Uh, so one thing you definitely don't want to do is open the door because they can fit through door frames. Okay, let's uh, stand up here and scout around. So as I was about to say, before I was so rudely interrupted, that if you um, place a bed on the top level, like not on your roof, but on the top level of your base, and then lay in it, you can see above your base. So it's a pretty good scouting trick, but I'm amazed that that raptor was able to spot me through a door and the walls and stuff. Like that, that shouldn't be able to, that, that shouldn't happen. I don't know what happened there. Um, whether or not that's something I need to address, I've, I've got no idea, but, uh, nonetheless, it did happen, and I need to go and collect the hide from it. And it's got something in its inventory? Oh, nice. Yay, an extra point two of armor. Woo! Alright, so let's go up into here, close that, and I'm going to see if I can make another window. Actually, what I think I'll do, I'll place down this window frame. And I'll demolish it. There we go. And then just make that other window that I needed. So what the difference is between an SS window and a regular window, I'm, I'm not sure. But nonetheless, it can uh, it can sit there. And then get some movement speed. Movement speed helps um, a lot in regards to your sort of early game. Uh, what level do I need to be for a forge? I think it's level uh, 21? No, not that. This one. 20. 20. Okay. Alright, so I'm a little ways off of that yet, which is okay. I'm going to stick the heavier stuff into there, and now I'm dehydrated. Fantastic. So let's put that over to there. And that's not my door. But essentially what you'll want to do is just get your movement speed up to around 120-ish um, match raptors. You may not outpace them necessarily, but you'll be able to... Rare flowers? Oh, what is with you guys needing rare flowers? And can I get my arrows back? Oh, I've got one back. That'll do. Alright. Uh, we've got ducks that spawn around here, which is nice. That's organic poly for us. Oh, hello. I'll take that. That is oil. Now these guys don't seem to care that you take their eggs, which is kind of good. Most creatures do. Is that a Barry down there? Yeah, that's a Barry. I really want to try and get a uh, Nyctheornis as well. They've probably got the best early game ability that of any creature. That's not even an exaggeration. They are fantastic. Like, they're, they're annoying. They're annoying as hell. Oh, what levels is Dillo? Oh, I could have tamed you. Oh, that would have been so much better than killing you. I don't have a Spyglass though. I might get a bunch of um, Dimorphodons to protect my base as well, actually. Kind of like a... Kind of like a... Um, a animal turret as opposed to... A uh, Species X. Oh, that's a Sarko. That's... Uh, that's not fun. Let us get some more movement speed. Okay, this is gonna suck. Come on. How are you still mate boosted? There we go. Alright, so if I duck down here, I'm gonna quickly snag these guys for a bit of meat. Yeah, come on. I mean, not meat, hide. Give me back the hide. Give it to me. Need all of it. Hide is... I, I can't even begin to tell you how important hide is at the beginning of the game. Uh, where's the first one that died? Oh, little compy. You know what? Doesn't matter. Dodo. That. <laughs> okay. Dodo. Do. 
Doe. Thank you. I can see the fires of my standing torches, and now every single time I see that, I'm going to think that there's an alpha up there. Oh, uh, why do I do this to myself? 15. That is definitely tameable. I just need to get to level 21 to create um, the trank arrows to knock it out because I'm not using a slingshot. Anyone who uses a slingshot to knock out a trike has got balls of steel and that's just not me. I like to prepare everything before I start doing that. Oh yeah, it is four times taming. Yeah, I was going to say it was three, but, um, but waiting ages for a tame to just sort of occur. It might be a bit different during an event, but ultimately I just can't be bothered. There we go. Oh. I really should have tamed that 145 Dillo. That would have been such a good, like, first tame. Just a little bodyguard for the base. And... Got a minute left on that. And that'll be ready to, uh... Shake up a bit. Now, that's a Baryonyx in the water there. The Sarko could also be in the water, which would be bad. So I need to stay away from the, the actual shoreline itself. Sarkos aren't overly quick when they're wild, which is good. Oh, I'm hearing water. Staying away from the actual water because the Baryonyx will have a decent aggro range then. Aha! There he is. Alright, well that's kind of creepy. So, we're going to continue with this Sarko and see where I can get with it, wherever the hell it's gone. So, where did that Sarko go? Let us quickly make another bow. And then I'm going to stick it in this slot over here as soon as it is crafted there we go there he is over here big guy all right he's not getting bloody at all oh yes he is There we go. See what I mean? Like, you collect the um, arrows, but you don't really collect the arrows. I don't know, it's weird. Sucker skin will come in handy. Let's get some of that hide. Don't care so much for the prime meat, because I've got nothing taming at the moment. It's just good for XP. I think that, um... I think that, like, campfires and standing torches and stuff should stop working in the rain. I don't know, just... To me, it just makes sense that it would stop working. Okay, that's uh, actually getting a lot more hits in than what I thought it was going to. But, uh, yeah, I think, um, I think now that we've been doing this for a little bit, I think I'll stop the, uh, the recording here, guys. So, this is episode one sort of done. We've, uh, covered the bases on what it is we're wanting to do. I'm gonna have to sort of make it up as I go along, because I've never done something like this before. I've defeated the island bosses. Um, I've, like, I've got the boss fights on, on the, like, the channel itself and whatnot, but, uh, they're kind of old. And that was with my tribe mates. I haven't done this solo. So this will be... Uh, this will definitely be a challenge. Um, I'm going to have to sort of figure out each step of the way. That's why I've got super structures to sort of automate the process a little bit. Which is uh, going to be a big help. But uh, yeah. Cheers for uh, for tuning in and, and watching it thus far. I hope you guys will somewhat enjoy the, uh, the series as much as I enjoy making it. Uh, this YouTube channel's really sort of given me a purpose to actually playing the game. I've been playing it for about five years and had a had a break there for a little bit. So, yeah, thank you guys for uh, the support to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.